We'll come on, we'll come back on C-score. In this video clip, we're going to talk about polynomial function and we're going to look to it and behavior. In fact, there is another video clip that you may want to watch before where we talk about all this notation we have here. Left up with these two fancy notation, one using the limits and the other one an idea of the limits. Left down with this uh, limits notation also. Right up and right down. Okay, uh, so basically, these four uh, behavior will match a picture like this. So, for example, this one is an odd, these two guys are odd degree, right? Odd degree and the leading coefficient. Leading coefficient. So both of them are odd degree. For this one, the leading coefficient is negative. For this one, the leading coefficient is positive. Very important to remember these two factors, these two characteristics of a polynomial are the ones that affect the end behavior. And we have two more type of picture, obviously, this one. No. And let's say something like this. This is an even degree. Even degree. And the leading coefficient here is negative, the leading coefficient here is positive. Okay. So basically that's the thing we're gonna do here. We're gonna look, hey, this odd here, this degree here is odd, and the leading coefficient is negative. So the graph should look something like this. Okay, so in fact I do have the graph here, but like I said, you don't really need that. And what is the behavior here? Left up. Right now, limit when x approach negative infinity of f of x. This is left equals infinity. Left up limit when x approach positive infinity. Infinity, right? That is right side of f of x is negative infinity. Right now. Let's take a look to number six. And number six, you need to be careful. You may want to rearrange the polynomial in the standard form. We're looking here, we have an even degree, six, and the leading coefficient is negative. So we should expect something like this, right? That's one of the uh, way for polynomial to behave and because the degree is uh, even and the leading coefficient negative is going to be like that. In fact, like I said, I do have the picture. You don't need that. Right? And we notice it's going down on both sides. So let's write the limits. Limit on x approach negative infinity of f of x. Right? So this is the left side. This negative infinity goes down. Limit when x approach infinity of f of x. So again, this is the right side equals infinity. What about these two guys? R degree leading coefficient positive. So this should be something like this. Of course, it's not like this. This is, is a, an 11 degree. This is, looks like more of third degree. So we're going to have, you know, again, we do have the picture. We're going to have what? Left down. So limit when x approach negative infinity of f of x is negative infinity. That is left down. Limit when x approach positive infinity of f of x equals infinity. That is right up. Number eight, degree 10, leading coefficient positive. Another one that you may want to rearrange in the standard form. So this one should look something like this because it's even degree and the leading coefficient is positive. In fact, let's see the picture right here. All right, up, up, so limit on x approach negative infinity of f of x equal positive infinity, left up limit when x approach infinity of f of x 
equals imprint write up. Go ahead and try and practice this using this limit notation. And we'll see you back. If you have these two answers for um, problem number nine and then you did a wonderful job. Okay, so left up for the first limit, right up. Why? Degree four, leading coefficient positive. So even positive. And this one. Left up, right down odd degree leading coefficient negative and you see that here in fact i do have some screenshot using a ti calculator if you put that in the calculator you're going to get this picture and for this one you're going to get this picture and probably you need to adjust the window okay and the last example go ahead and try this one and we'll see you back to see if we have the right answer So if you have this answer for number 11 and 12, a wonderful job. Uh, and again, you can see some picture here using a graphing calculator. You see left up, right down, left up, right down for an odd degree and leading coefficient negative. And you notice here, you need to spot that the term that has the largest degree and you may want to rearrange in the standard form uh, the second one yeah, we do have the picture here and you see uh, a left down right down left down right down and again that is an even degree and the leading coefficient is negative right uh, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on c square for more Matt BWs. Thank you.